Thank you for that. And although the weather is back to more favorable conditions for many of us, the recent rain paired with yesterday's cancellation of Rochester's Fourth Fest is leading to many of the vendors having to recover from not hitting anticipated sales. I spoke with a few of them who share how they were impacted. Yesterday was expected like, um, to be there, but uh, you know the weather we never know. F and J Compadres, Minnesota Shave Ice, and True Smoke Barbecue were just a few of the food and beverage vendors that were expected to be on the grounds of Soldiers Field Memorial Park for Rochester's Fourth Fest. But after Thursday's rain washed out the event, businesses such as Fernando Garcia's missed out on some anticipated sales. Talking about um, uh, over 2,000 or three more or... But they weren't the only ones. We probably lost around 3000 to $3,400 which is what we've done the last couple of years. Nick Kraus is one of the owners of Minnesota Shave Ice. He brings into perspective who all is impacted by the fourth fest cancellation. The reality of it is, you know, we had five kids that were going to be working too, so they didn't make any money, <laughs> you know, either. He said when news came of the festival cancellation, the business decided to take one of its trailers over to Stewartville, where a crowd was expected for Summerfest. With the rain and everything and the dreary morning, we were down at least $1,000 in Stewartville too. I spoke to the businesses about any money lost in food prep. F&J, who also has a storefront in the Apache Mall, say they were able to freeze the vegetables they prepped the night before. So luckily you guys didn't waste any food? Uh, no. We've been preparing more than the night before wow. because we have to make our ice. So we make our own ice 19 blocks at a time, so it takes us days. Unfortunately, other businesses took a major hit. True Smoke Barbecue said it had to cook its big meats the entire night before the event. True's pit master shared a statement saying in part, quote, That event is our largest event of the year, and we had cooked enough to serve approximately 500 meals as we typically sell out when we go and didn't want to let our supporters down. I was in a slight panic when the email to cancel finally came. The financial potential was a huge loss that I'm not going to be able to recover no matter what I do, and it being our very last year of ending, the financial stress was very real, end quote. And nearly 10 food and beverage vendors were anticipated for the fourth fest, ready to serve hundreds of visitors.